But first tonight, one month since Russia began its unprovoked invasion, brutality, brutality that is, and pillaging of Ukraine. Good evening, I'm Brian Blakely. And I'm Alicia Barnes. So tonight, President Biden warning businesses, small and large, that cyber attacks are coming from an angry Russia. Now that hits home for many companies in the Carolinas who have been victims of suspected Russian hackers in the past. Queen City News anchor Ryan Kruger joins us now with that story. And Ryan, you spoke with an expert who says hackers, they're already poking around. Yeah, that's right. He says there has been a big increase increase in activity coming out of Russia in the last month. And there's a message to all small business owners. No matter what kind of business you may be in, you could be attacked. As the war in Ukraine rages on, there's another war happening online. The hackers from the United States and from Russia are going at it, right? There, there is an actual cyber warfare element to this. When suspected Russian hackers shut down Colonial Pipeline last year, it generated worldwide headlines. But that same group behind that attack also hit a small book publisher in Charlotte, along with a plastic supply company and a farm equipment store in South Carolina. Grant Gibson with the Cyber Institute for Battle Readiness says small businesses should take action now. They are looking at the smaller and medium-sized businesses because they're easier targets. They've invested less in security. They, they know they're less likely to change their password or use multi-factor authentication or keep their systems up to date or even have a professional that they turn to for cybersecurity questions. Gibson says, unfortunately, even the best defense can't stop a sophisticated attack. Instead, he hopes the international community can create a form of cyber deterrence, sort of like what nations have used with nuclear weapons. It's kind of like the wild, wild west, and we really need to get to a place where we, we know at the very least Russia is not going to shut down our power grid, right? Do they have the capability to do it? Probably. Could we retaliate and do it to them? Probably. Um, will one of us do it? We don't know. And why don't we don't know? Because we don't have any international norms around cybersecurity. And believe it or not, changing your password, that is the easiest way to protect yourself. It's very likely that whatever password you use has already been compromised and it's already out there on the dark web. Now, the Colonial Pipeline hack, that happened because hackers got the right passwords to get into the system. Gibson also recommends things like multi-factor authentication, along with bringing in an expert to shore up your cyber defenses. Guys. Yeah, sobering wake-up call for all of us to stay alert. Thank you, Ryan.